years ago and already garnered about 154 million views on YouTube. It also uh, peaked at number 23 on the US Billboard R&B Hip Hop Airplay chart. And yes, it's still doing a lot. I mean, there's a remix of this with French Montana and uh, Whiskey was also on this song as well. And it started the Drogba Challenge, which I'm sure you know about. So Afro B is in the house with us. Happy New yes. Year. Happy New this Year. This song is a banger, year. man. Thank you, man. It's a banger. <laughs> Did you expect it to blow up like this? I just had fun, man. I didn't expect anything. God is good, man. That's how it starts, yeah. right? Yeah. Tell me about the inspiration for this song. Who is Joanna, by the way? Joanna, she's from Ghana. Is she? <laughs> Where did you meet her? In 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 Accra. Mm, Asia. <laughs> is, this, is this his first time in Accra? Second time. Second time. Oh, Second so you time. met her the first time. The first time. Let's man. do some calculations. Which year did you come to Ghana? I came to Ghana. You better get this it? right because this song was released. Oh, yeah, was it? I think 2018. Oh, is it? That December 2019. Okay, and you met Joanna. I met Joanna. And she then. inspired the Drogba song. She inspired it, man. Why? What happened? Tell us. Well, we met her. I met her in a place called Purple. Okay. <laughs> Purple Pub. Purple Pub. Okay. And uh, yeah, she stole my heart from there. Is it? She broke my heart. Oh, she broke your heart? Yeah, that's why she was playing me like drug bar. I'm so sorry about that. Did she apologize <laughs> for this? Yes. You've made her popular now. <laughs> I'm sure she came to you and said, you're using my name to make money, so yeah, you're going to have to pay me now, for now it. She, now she's, she's probably watching now. Yeah. No, but this peaked at 23 on the US Billboard charts. Yes, yes, yes. You probably weren't expecting this, were you? Listen, I, I, as soon as I noticed that the song was picking up in the US, I went there and did mm -hmm. the promotion. I mm -hmm. feel like when you meet people physically, they get behind it and Afrobeats was still fairly new to them. Yeah. So it was very important to me to just keep breaking down the doors and mm -hmm. now songs are just going through America like And easy. that's how. Yeah. So at what point did French Montana jump on this? I think he jumped on um, 20, 2019. Okay. Ish, yeah. So just about a year after, year after you released it. it. Mm -hmm. Why did he want to collaborate on this one? Because he's from, I believe, Morocco. Morocco. Yes, he is. So he, he has that sense of being African to mm -hmm. North Africa. So, mm. yeah, he gave that consign and Wizkid did his thing as well. Exactly. Did yeah. you know these two before? Um, Wizkid, kind of. Okay. Because I, I used to be a DJ, mm -hmm. so I used to see him around. French yeah. Montana, no, no. that was the first time. It must I have mean, felt good that he yeah. decided to jump on it. Absolutely. So, I like the fact that you said you were a DJ before you became a producer. Yeah. But even before becoming a DJ, you were a church boy. Yeah. You were playing the piano in church. Yeah. yeah which so is what your parents wanted you to do. Yeah. So I played at my late father's church okay. every Sunday. He forced me to, to play, play, play. But before then, I was playing football. Okay. So it made me stop playing, stop doing that. Oh, you then, wanted to be a footballer? Yeah. Every, everyone, every, when, every Ivorian, we love football. Okay. Yeah. So we start, I started off with that. From then, learned the piano playing every Sunday, rehearsing with the choir. Mm. And then little did I know I was setting myself up for this. Mm. So, yeah. But then if you started in the church, uh, everybody mm. would expect that you'd have been singing praise and worship, hallelujah, somebody. You know, you know? I I've got a gospel. Like, before Joanna, I had a gospel song with Joey B called Baba God. Okay. And that, that kind of picked up more in the UK. Were you just telling God that you, you know what? Let me give you what you want for now so I can <laughs> no, go no, no. and do what I really want to do. No, no, I give him praise all the time. I, yeah. I, I'm here because of him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but how I'm did just... your family feel about you doing anything other than gospel full time? They always support, man. They don't have a problem with that. Your father no. was a preacher. Yes. Exactly. So they probably thought that you'd end up a preacher or a minister. No, or man. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're not like <laughs> extreme with okay. it. Okay. As long as I, I'm a good Samaritan and doing what I need to do, being a good person, mm. that's the main thing What do you do them. to be a good person? Tell me. Me, yeah, I just, I just treat people how I want to be treated. Okay. That's so it's not the, really about going to church and, you know, doing all these gospel songs and stuff. Uh, that's not what more, really defines a Christian? Well, you can still go to church and be a bad person. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do you go to church? I try to. Okay. Are I you pray. A bad, are you I a pray. bad person? I'm not a bad person <laughs> at all. Okay, but so after that, <laughs> you started as a DJ. Yes, so I was balancing DJing and being a student mm -hmm. in a college university. Yeah. How yeah, are so you managing a, both? You can always manage time, man. Can you? Yeah. With a lot of assignments and all that. Assignments, yeah. I was just doing it in advance or so last minute. You know how that goes. Mm. How long were you a DJ for? E. Are you still? Yes. So you I still, still are, okay. I still play on radio. Mm. 
um, every Saturday. Okay. 11 p.m. until 1 on Capital Extra, playing mm. Afrobeats. Cool. Me, I'm, I'm just very pro-Africa, pro-black, pro the genre, pro mm -hmm. the movement. Mm. So anything to do with it, whether it's DJing, events, singing, mm. I'm pushing it wherever I am. Why the need? Because especially if you live in a place like the UK or any of these other foreign countries, you can easily be swayed sometimes. Uh, not me, man. Um, yeah. Like most of my friends are either Ghanaian or Nigerian. Okay. So they introduced me to high life, mm. hip life, all of the, uh, the African music from the jump. And on top of that, I was listening to my French kind of music. Exactly, uh, yeah. Because Congolese, you're Ivorian, yeah. Ivory Coast magic system. Yeah. So that was instilled from installed in me from an early age. Did the French music kind of influence your kind of music? As yeah, well? yeah. But okay. I, I, um, I listen to everything. Everything. Though. Can you do yeah. the Congolese dance and the uh, Ivorian dance? You're uh, going to have to teach rusty. me. I've been, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> Guys, we're going to dance. Oh, I've been man. wanting to learn how to, you know, gyrate. I spoke too soon, man. Yeah, it's fine. Should we play something Ivorian for uh, you? You can, man. But yeah, so we can, you teach me how to move the waist. Because uh, you guys are really good You need to teach that. me uh, Zonto or something. Man. I'll teach you Zonto, which I'm sure you're Already know anyway. Yeah, kind of. I hear I you're a fantastic dancer. <laughs> I've done this? my homework on you. True. No way. Yeah. I've got friends that are good, but me. Yeah, but at least you're I okay. Do, I do one two step and call it. A it's night. fine. We'll still do that. We're looking for that song, producers. If you're ready, please <laughs> let me know. Any any Ivorian song? Do you have any preference? Uh, let's go for the classic Magic System. Magic System. Premier please girl, let's man. look for it. We're going to dance, oh, and man. we'll put him on the spot and see if he can show us how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But while we wait for that, so how did production come along the way? So um, the keys, are, I'm very involved with how things sound. Mm. So um, my main producer is Team Salute. They mm. kind of started off the idea, I added my ideas, mm. and then I just sang my melodies over the Joanna or whatever it was and boom and that's how it, it became is. a hit yeah we'll talk about the Ghanaian songs that you listen to but the song is ready so here we go oh okay let's go <laughs> I don't know hey. what to do man okay <laughs> show me show me show me <laughs> this is more Azonso but this is not Ivorian this is not French I don't know show me that ah uh, this is too much aha okay <laughs> don't be simple. shy don't be shy you I'm go not this is not simple. Okay. And then... Okay. <laughs> I'm the worst is teacher, man. Oh. You teach me now. No, you, you guys are very good with the way. So show me. Ah, that's what you're doing. Okay, don't sit. It's morning, it. it's Let's morning. Go. Let's go. Okay. 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 Two step. Two step. In fact, <laughs> let's come forward. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. You have to do the action in the shoulder, you know. Okay. You see the waistline. 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 Hey. waistline. You see, I told you guys that he's good at it. I told you. Oh, my days. So, we're going to have like a one on one session later on. Oh if you guys God. want to join, in fact, we can make it two or three on one so he can teach us all these moves. Uh, but who's your favorite uh, French musician? African. Whew, that's a hard one. Uh, or who are your favorites? Just so you don't leave. My favorites in general, yeah. French. Yeah. Um, DJ Agafa, rest in peace. Yeah. Kofi Illumide, Fali, Fali, Fali Pupa. Pupa. Okay. Um, I think those are the top three. Mewe. Freddie Me Mewe. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys him. know him as well. Yes, yes. He's very popular here. I Fali Pupa as well. Magic System, of course. Yeah. So I'll say those, those five. Those ones. What I about like Ghanaian? Also. Ghanaian. Ooh. I like the Castro. Okay. Rest in peace, man. Yeah. Shout out, Stone Boy. Okay. Hee -hee. So you play so those songs a lot. Sarkody as well? Yeah, yeah. What about the females? Do you play anyone's song on Females, Effia. Okay. I love Effia, Jackie as well. Nice. Have you met them, any of them? Uh, not yet. Mm. But I've got a song with Effia. Okay, which is out already? No. Oh, you're yet to put it out? Yet to put Tell it out. Tell us about it. When is it coming out? It's, I'm aiming for April. Okay. Stone Boy too. You pending. have one with Stone Boy. Pending, ah, man. Pending. Did you record it here or did you? No, we, we sent it because during the pandemic, it was just crazy. Yeah. How did so that I... affect your music? Uh, it was fine for me because I already had the classic. Okay. So before December, I hadn't released in like two years. Mm. I was just focusing on recording, perfecting my craft, just making this um, mm. album that I'm working on. Yeah. So... 
yeah. yeah, he gave me more time to just sit down because as soon as it came, that song came out literally every week, different mm -hmm. country, I had to go there. My mind was just all over all the, place. the place. So I got yeah. to sit down and focus on, on me. And I'm sure you're working on your playlist as well. Playlist, How yeah. similar are songs from the Francophone countries as against those from West African, uh, Anglophone? And What's the... um, in general? Yes. How, uh, what are the similarities and what are the differences? I think right now the only difference is the language, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the, a lot of people now, the, the music's blending. Yeah. You can't tell what's what until the person's singing on it. Mm -hmm. So you, you might hear Caribbean music and it's got like an African touch to it. Mm. Or I'm a piano and then you hear, that, yeah. you know, Nigerian voices. Or, mm -hmm. African Is music has gone really global now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's That's been right. a conversation in Ghana about the fact that Nigerian music dominates when it comes to African music being played on the international front. And yeah. maybe we're not doing enough as Ghanaians to promote our own music. You are a DJ, international yeah. for that matter. What do you say? Uh, well, I have to... Well, me being here, I've been here for one day. Mm -hmm. I've heard more Ama Piano. Mm -hmm. That's South African more than more Nigerian than music. Okay. So I have to kind of disagree. I, I heard a lot of Ghanaian music at okay. a club I went to, too. Mm. You've so, been here for just a day? You came in yesterday? Yeah, I came in yesterday. Okay, okay. So I went to a few spots, and mm. it was more, I'm a piano. Mm -hmm. I was in Nigeria, too. That It was, I'm a piano, too. So I feel like every, t every period, there's a sound that dominates. Yeah. So at one point, it was the French. At one point, it was the Azonto. Mm. It was the mm. Shakri, whatever you want to yeah. call it. And then... Now it's the I'm a piano song, mm -hmm. which is from South Africa. South Africa. In, in Nigeria, were you hearing Ghanaian songs? Um, no. I was saying more I'm a, I'm a piano, like that was 95%. Of the music. Of like, the music. Over their own music. Well, they, they have artists doing that, merging yeah. that sound with their sound. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it was, I would say I heard more South African than their music. Yeah. But, but yeah, it was a mixture. It was a mixture. In terms of Ghanaian, I didn't really hear too much. Mm. But at least um, you've heard some of them in... Yeah, I heard, I heard Jackie Omale, okay. um, okay. There For You. Yeah. And that, that was the main one, if what I'm honest What about in the UK and all these other foreign countries that you visit as a yeah. DJ? Which one dominates your list the most? Um, in the UK, it's a mixture of, it's a mixture of everyone. Okay. If you're talking about me. Mm -hmm. Because on radio, I'm just playing everyone's country. But club-wise, with clubs, they play like what's in the most demand, which mm. is the Ama Piano. That's what's so, in demand now? Yes. Before Ama Piano, what was it? Before, it was uh, Zanku. Okay. That was a uh, Niger sound. Mm. Zanku, Shaku. Mm. Then, um, Az was it Azonto? Azonto before that? Yes. I believe. Azonto also dominated for a while. Yeah, the Azonto dominated. And then we had the, you know, wind your waist, mm. French kind of stuff. So should we be having this argument over whose song should be played here and there? I mean, are we not it's all one Africa now. Yeah. Like, it's one Africa. If, if, if that's the current sound, then that's the current sound. If you want to join the, the wave at the moment or just stick to what you're used to, mm. then you can do that. Okay, you get what I'm saying? but as Ghanaians, what can we do more to have our music played worldwide? Ghanaian music is getting play, played worldwide. Is it? Joanna's got Ghanaian influences. Okay, yes. Different, different songs have, there's a lot of Nigerian mm. songs that have Ghanaian influences. But can influences. I tell you the truth? I always thought Joanna was done by a Nigerian. Oh, well, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I don't know if others think the same. I mean, until I heard you coming on the show and I checked and realized that, it, you know, it wasn't a Nigerian uh, song. Well, a lot of people will either think I'm Nigerian or Ghanaian because yeah. I'm singing in English too. Mm -hmm. So that's the automatic, oh, you're one of the two. But yeah. when there's more to, to Africa than the, the two countries. I see. Yeah. Well, so, so what, what are you working on currently, which is why you're in Ghana, I'm sure. Yeah, so this is actually the first time I've done promo in Africa since mm. the, the, the big pandemic. hit. So okay. I'm just here to, you know speak to everyone, put, connect the face to the music mm. and to let people know I've got things coming. Yeah. That's to mingle more. It makes more sense to come back. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the, way, the way my thing worked, it, it picked up in the Western world before yeah. it came here. Mm. So now I'm just connecting the dots. Okay, and yeah. working on that. We're looking mm -hmm. forward to all of that. But you're called Afrobeat. 
Yes. Beard gang, is that what the B is for? It can be. It can be, huh? <laughs> but what is it really for? Though? Afro beats. Yeah. Afro beats, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, the genre. So okay. from, from 12 years, 11 years ago, when the, the genre wasn't getting that, the love it was supposed to get, mm. I was DJing, playing it, forcing it on people. Okay. So when I first started out, I was only given like five minute DJ sets. There mm. wasn't many songs I could play. Okay. So I was playing that venues that they didn't want to hear it at all mm. so i'll be playing there'll be a crowd of people once i start they just spit empty yeah. in it they're just telling me to come off and mm. now you see yeah now we can have nights full of the exactly full of um the music what so i've seen the the transition from then from until now that. from the uk point mm -hmm. and the us point were there times you wanted to give up because people weren't responding to afro beats never me yeah. i'm very stubborn okay that's why, that's why I've been, it's something I've been pushing mm. for 11 years. When, 11 when, years is long. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Mm -hmm. 20, 2009, 2010. Yeah. And now, um, yeah. Okay. It's just, I'm just going to continue doing what well, we're looking I think my forward to. Is. But your, your, your Ivorian name yes. is Ross Imano Bayatu. <laughs> yeah. I got it right. Why are you laughing though? <laughs> <laughs> By a toe. By a toe. Yeah. By a toe. Yeah. Ross Emanuel, like Rick Ross. Ross. Yeah, Ross. Ross Emanuel by a toe. Yeah. What was the last time you went back home? Um. Oh, like uh, four weeks ago. So you you are a regular in your home country. Well, from from twenty nineteen, I was a regular. Okay. I've got my passport. I've mm, got my nice. passport now, so mm. I try to go back okay. as often as possible. Any okay. considerations of moving to Africa? Yeah, that's why I want to retire. I okay. don't want to see myself. You want retire. to retire already? Uh, no, no, I just, later, later. later. That's, okay, yeah, okay. When I'm, Where would you, you know, want to live? Back home in Cote d'Ivoire? Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire, anywhere in, in Africa. But and you speak was, French? Yeah, French. Yeah. Okay. I could okay. be better. Yeah. But. Okay, I see. <laughs> well, <laughs> Maybe we could switch to French, except that my French teacher would disown me. So we'll hold on to that for a while and talk about other things. But it's a new year. Yes. And so if you say you're working on a few things, what should we expect? I mean, after Joanna and all that. You're going to expect an album. You're going to okay. expect more African collabs. Cool. With who? Uh, Apart from so Ifia I, I, and Yeah, I mentioned Stoneboy. Ifia, yes. Stoneboy. We've got uh, Rich the Kid. We've got... Um, uh, oh my days, my head's gone blank. Mm. We got, we got YC. Okay. We got Ade Josh. Yeah. We got um, Shizzy, the guy who produced Peru. Yeah, yeah. I, I've done a song with him. Nice. Uh, Oxlade. Okay. Yeah. There's more more things to come. And all these are coming out in 2022. 2022, yes. Album, wait. album. An album. What's it called? Afro Wave Four. Afro Wave Four, because one, two, three one, is two, already three, out. And this is for the rebirth. Why do you keep sticking to Afro Wave though? That's a brand. Okay. That's my brand. This yeah. is the movement to connect the diaspora mm. to Africa, to connect those who don't understand it, mm. and the, to change the perception mm -hmm. to people who just think. Well, anyhow. Yeah. But are you still signed on to your record label? That's independent. I'm independent at the oh, moment. Oh, you are? Yeah. Any Everything's been a... I haven't, I haven't collab... Well, I'm big on ownership. Mm. So being independent, I, I have more flexibility. Okay. I can steer the ship. You the didn't have I, that before? I, no, I've always been... That's how I've always been. Okay. I haven't joined the lab, uh, major Label. Yet. Okay. Yeah. But it said you signed on to them, which is why I was asking. No, I haven't signed on to a major. Any at all? Okay, no. you don't intend to? Uh, what if we'll see. I'll see how far I can take it. By okay. my, like, the way mm. I'm doing it now. Okay. Yeah. What are your expectations uh, for music in 2022 as well? I think it's just going to keep expanding. Mm. Like, more, more songs are going viral. Well, African songs anyway. TikTok mm -hmm. is going crazy. And we can just keep... People are now familiar with it. It's yeah. not like, oh, what's this sound? Uh, what's this African sound? Mm -hmm. It's more like, oh, they understand what the brand is. Yeah. So we can just keep adding, mm. adding wood to the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish you the best, though. How long Thank are you in you. town for? I'm, I'm here for a week. A week. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm here for a week. Okay. So I'm just connecting, recording, yeah. just mingling yeah. for now. Until Berna is in town, Shatawale is also around. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I had a feeling this will come out. <laughs> do you <laughs> <laughs> do you want to, you know, yeah. referee the match between Pardon? the two? Do you want to be the referee? <laughs> referee, no, no, no. <laughs> What do you make of that, though? What, what the, I don't know, man. Um, people like controversy, man. You don't? But They say it sells. It sells, man, but... Uh, no. I don't know, man. I think they should just keep it as music. Okay. I feel like that would be amazing. So they should do like a battle, but it should be music. Uh, um, battle. Oh, you want to battle fight. isn't really part of the... Co well, it's more of the dancehall culture. So I get it. And they both do dancehall. But... I mean, it's, but the it's getting a bit more. It's getting a bit toxic, I think. They need to control just, it. Yeah, yeah. But it was toxic it. between Drake and, and... Was it Chris Brown? I mean, they kept going at each other. Eventually, we got some good music from them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody sees it as, it might look toxic, but then at the same time, it brings out the best in both artists. Yeah, yeah. It's just a moment, man. I think mm. it, will, it will pass through. It's already kind of fading. Yeah. Already, man. Oh, it's not. It's very nice in town, so we're waiting. <laughs> That's what we hear. <laughs> but thank you so much, and I wish you the best. Yeah, man. Hopefully, you get a collaboration with all two of them at the same time. We'll see, man. We'll see about I'm that. Huh? Both of them, man. Okay, cool. <laughs> Afrobi has been our guest, and he's in town, Joanna Kruna, and uh, he has a lot more up his sleeves. And so we're looking forward to all the releases later this year. Uh, one with a fear that's supposed to be out in April, and one with Stone Boy. Uh, so I'm excited about that, and I, I really do look forward to it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you so for much. Having me, man.